guys, this is Urgent Legacy. Um, today we're going to be talking about The Last of Us, and for those of you who don't know, The Last of Us was a game that came out in 2013, around June or so, and so I'm going to be talking about that today, and my reviews of the game and such like that. So first of us, I'm talking, eh, first of us, first of all, I'm going to be talking about the gameplay of The Last of Us, which I think is really, really cool, and that I really liked about The Last of Us. Um, I like that you could either do like stealth, which I kind of like to do, or just go all at it with your fist and with your guns and stuff like that. I really like that about the game, that give you a choice uh, on how you want to play and different playing styles and stuff like that. The crafting style is really, really cool. I like that as well. Um, I always really liked having like three shaves because I can go around and stab everybody instead of having to strangle them because I would always get panic attacks because I was afraid they wouldn't die fast enough. Um, so yeah. Um, the setting, I think, is really awesome. Uh, it's a different take on the zombie apocalypse. Like, I've seen, like, so many zombie games just go on and on and on and not really be very memorable. My hair is being totally horrid. Uh, but I remember that The Last of Us was totally, totally memorable and the way that it worked and the approach that it had to the zombie virus. Um, and so I thought that was really cool. And the characters and storylines are really cool. Um, favorite character in the game. I mean, jo Joel. I guess Joel is my favorite character in the game. But um, other than Joel, I would probably have to say uh, Bill because Bill was really cool, and I liked how he was um, a really hardened guy. But then when you saw, I think his name was Frank, hanging up in his kitchen or living room or whatever because he didn't want to get infected, you could see Bill's soft side come out. And that was really cool for me to see, because uh, I, I liked Bill as a character. I liked his Kikuri knife, it was really awesome, because like, you kind of need a uh, knife to take care of zombies and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, um, I, 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 I liked Ellie, I, I'm not saying I didn't like Ellie, Ellie was a really cool character, um, kind of interesting that she was uh, only 14, uh, but she still had like the mouth of like a really, really hardened like, guy, like, I don't know, but, like, she always cussed and stuff like that. I'm gonna try not to cuss on this channel, just FYI. Anyway, uh, yeah, so Ellie was, Ellie was really cool, and the, uh, Left Behind DLC was a really interesting way to bring her out as a character and stuff like that. I thought that was a really cool way to do stuff like that. And, um, yeah, I like, I like that game. Uh, Tess, <laughs> I kind of knew from the start when Tess was introduced that she wasn't on the poster so I know she's either left behind or she's gonna die and then like half like halfway through our time with Tess I was like she's gonna freaking get bitten this is how it's gonna end and when, when she's when she got bitten I didn't know that was like she was gonna be bitten at the time so at the time it surprised me like the timing of it surprised me but otherwise it was it was a uh, kind of predictable but she was a good character I liked her too um oh a really, really cool game. The narrative and the story of it is really, really well done. Like, really good. Good job, Naughty Dog. I really, really liked the game. It was an amazing game. Uh, I'm going to go back more in depth into the story of it real quick. Um, so, if any of you haven't played it, it's set in a zombie apocalypse about 20 years after 2013. So, 2033. And, uh, basically... Everything just kind of stopped. Technology stopped, stuff like that. When the zombie apocalypse happened, because it just ransacked the earth, and um, so the story follows Joel and Ellie. Joel is um, the guy whose daughter was shot by the military trying to get out of his town. I think it was Houston, maybe it was Dallas. I don't remember. Somewhere in Texas, and so they were trying to get out of town, and uh, the military guy shot. His daughter. That was really sad. Uh, again, it was a really, really, really strong, solid start to the game, though. I really liked it. And um, I'm trying to think what else. So yeah, it follows it follows Joel and Ellie, and they're trying to get to Utah or Montana, I believe. Trying to get to the Fireflies, because Ellie. <sighs> Spoiler alert for if you guys haven't seen it yet. Uh, Ellie, it's a pretty old game though. You should play it by now. Uh, Ellie is immune to the zombie virus and they're taking her to see the fireflies. The fireflies are like their resistance 
to the military, and the Fireflies are going to try to find uh, the cause of herd immunity and try to develop a vaccine from it. It's a really, really cool concept, and so the story takes place and it follows their journey across all of the United States, and uh, yeah, and so like there are parts. There's like one part that was really it's 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 my probably like my least favorite part of the game, but it's really cool. Like the storyline was really cool of that part. That's probably my least favorite gameplay part was the um, uh, the part the winter when it was just Ellie against all of David's men and stuff like that. That that was still really awesome. So, like it was still really good gameplay, just not my favorite out of this stuff. So yeah, and. Yeah, David was really creepy. David is like someone who tried to kidnap Ali after uh, Joel got hurt and when they were trying to find the fireflies. <clears throat> that was gross. Uh, anyway, so they're trying to find uh, the fireflies and Joel gets hurt and then uh, Ellie's on her own for like, I think a couple months and then Joel finally gets better and they're on the road again and it's all about how they are getting together. Not, to not together, but like... um getting more and more bonded over the time they have together. And so eventually uh, they get to the Fireflies, but they have to kill Ellie in order to find out her vaccine in this. And I'm sorry, I'm being totally rude, but I'm very vain about my hair. And it probably still looks horrid. Anyway, um, so yeah, um, they're trying to find a cure and they have to basically take the fungus out of Ellie's brain in order to do that, which will kill her. So Joel storms in and just kind of kills all the fireflies and gets her up. So story definitely is awesome. Um, gameplay is really, like the combat, I thought, the hand-to-hand -hand combat, I thought was like the most coolest part of the game. Like the shooting was really cool because like it was like you have really, a little amount of bullets, which makes for total sense. And um, because it's the zombie apocalypse and ammo needs to be conserved, and like all the wiggly uh, gunshots and stuff like that. I thought that was really cool, but the hand-to-hand -hand, uh, up-close combat was my favorite, because uh, you would get up close to the guy and you just smack him into everything, you just hit him with a board or like a stick or something like that, and then you would grab his head and smack him into a wall, and I thought that was really awesome. Combat was so cool, it made you feel like an utter killing machine, which is kind of bad, but it was really, really cool. And so, combat, combat was really awesome, gameplay was really awesome, and the world was really, really immersive because you would just be put into these massive levels where you had to kind of search everywhere to get enough parts to build your stuff, and like you'd be able to build bombs and upgrade your weapons and stuff like that, it was really cool, but the world was really cool because I liked how the nature took over everything, like you'd have vines everywhere on the buildings and stuff like that. And then you would have like trees growing out of skyscrapers. That was definitely my, like one of my favorite parts of the game world. It was definitely the amount of nature that it had. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's about it for this video and my review of The Last of Us. I thought it was a really amazing game. Um, so sorry, yeah. The DLC was really cool as well, but I liked playing as Joel more than I like playing as Ellie. Ellie was really, really cool storyline. It was still really cool gameplay. Just, I didn't like it as much as Joel's. So, you know, like, I would give it like a 9 out of 10 because some parts were not the best and were maybe a little awkward. And But, like, for the most part, the game was really awesome and gorgeous for its time. And it was a really cool game. So, I really liked it. That's all I have uh, for The Last of Us. So, let me know if you want to see more of this. I'm probably going to be making more of this, even though you guys were like, no, I don't like this. But eventually, I'll probably, I'll probably, like, probably do like two more videos, and if you guys don't like it, I'll just stop. Uh, so yeah, that's all I have for The Last of Us. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't remember to like and subscribe.